This is a case of combined cataract surgery and iris glaucoma repair. There is about two clock hours of iris uh, dehiscence and there is a large choreoretinal glaucoma. So cataract surgery started in the standard fashion, making the main incision and two paracentesis. Centering the capsulorexis is really essential uh, in this case. Also to avoid the area of the lens dehiscence inferiorly. Capsulorexis was made about 5 mm in size centered around the Purkinje image. Hydrodissection then performed in the usual manner and the lens was rotated a couple of times. This patient has about plus two lens, so vehicle multiplication was done using stop and chop technique. The lens was divided into two halves, then chopped it to quadrants. The quadrants was multiplied and then the remaining half was divided. Cortical removal was used using a soft silicate tip. It's really efficient way of removing the cortical matter with a special attention to avoid any tension on the area of the zonular dehiscence. The changes you can see here in the red reflex are mainly due to the choreoretinal uh, glaucoma. Residual lens fibers were polished. I noted that there is a bit of an area of zonular dehiscence, so I decided to put a capsular tension ring. This is an injectable CTR, which quite easy to insert in such situation and provide good support to the capsular back complex. This is followed by a foldable lens implant in the back. At this point, I prefer to remove any viscoelastic behind the IOL as it will be a bit challenging to remove it later on after the iris repair. After removing the viscoelastic behind the IOL, I did a little bit of viscoelastic in front of the IOL and a bit of intracameral micro to constrict the pupil. Then we move to iris repair. Two small paracentesis was made. At this stage, a gentle stretch of the iris tissue to assess its mobility and to make subsequent suturing easier. Especially in these cases, we have a uh, dehiscence in the iris tissue. I like to do that from both sides. Then we move to the repair. I decided to use the four through pupilloplasty described by Dr. Agarol and colleague. It's always useful to do that in two steps to make sure you get a good grip of the iris tissue and take the pipe exactly what you, where you want. Then docking the needle through the 27 gauge guide needle I have slightly bent it to make the retrieval easy. After that, you can grip the distal part of the suture and externalize it to prepare for the four throughs. Then you cut the proximal part and make at least four throughs through the loop. One, two, three, and then the fourth one. It's always useful to use a higher magnification for this step. And once you make sure that four throughs are completed, 
you can pull the sutures and this will bring the iris tissue together. The pupil is nicely rounded in this situation and then the sutures were cut with micro scissors. I found there is a little bit of gabbing so I thought to take an extra suture. For a second suture you can do it directly and there is a little bit of tension from the first suture. In a similar fashion dog the needle so through the 27 uh, gauge needle and externalize it and once you externalize the loop of the haptic repeat the four throws technique in the same way Once four throws are completed, the sutures are pulled together. I found this technique really easy and simple to do. Then cut the suture with micro scissors and removing the viscoelastic from the front of the lens. And this is the reason why I have removed the viscoelastic behind the lens earlier and then hydration of the wounds and the surgery was uh, concluded. Thank you very much for watching.